Hello folks, this is Guillermo. Thank you for tuning in with me today. Uh, I'm going to report on the real estate market here uh, in the month of May for 2011 and what's been happening here in the real estate market. There's been a, a few, I guess, uh, biased um, things that have come out this month. I've seen them on Yahoo and, and a couple of other places where uh, you know they're reporting very negatively about the markets overall that uh, you know gloom and doom that you know prices are still dropping that there's so many uh, ghost inventory and all this uh, jazz about you know doomsday uh, but you know reality is totally different from what I'm seeing here in the marketplace at least in Miami Florida it's um, it's a tough market for the buyers because there's just not enough inventory right now believe it or not in spite of all the foreclosures and the short sales that are on the market there's more demand than there is inventory and and also good inventory because a lot of the properties that are on the market are trashed and, and cannot be financed by regular means so uh, to put it in, in another light and in a real light here in, in the real estate market in Miami is alive and thriving and as we speak the uh, the lenders are continuing to uh, lighten up on the uh, on the lending, um, you know, tightness. So it's becoming easier to finance things. They've they've, they've lowered uh, this week. FHA lowered the requirement of the lowest uh, score that they will accept through Regions Bank. I believe they're they're uh, now accepting 580. The only thing is that you have to put a, you have to put uh, I believe five percent down, and 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 there can't be a gift uh, received for the down payment. You can't receive it as a gift. So. You know, it's it's getting better, and uh, the marketplace. The challenge now for for the market is finding enough properties that are in good condition that buyers can buy. Uh, even uh, as it is, you know, the the, the uh, banks are, are doing a good thing because they're excluding investors from buying into the properties for the first two or three weeks. So that means that they're they're helping the public out because they don't want you know investors to to snatch up these properties with cash offers and not let the uh, the everyday Joe uh, and his family buy a property so um, it's going good you know I think it's gonna take you know a while still two or three years who knows to to clean up the market but you know we're, we're heading to a, a better place every day and the rates are so low that it's, it's just incredible you gotta buy right now you know and in Miami, there's so many great deals in condos. It's it's amazing if you want to buy a second uh, home and, and and buy a condo here and rent it. You know, it's just phenomenal. The uh, the the deals that you can find, the prices are still super low. Now, as far as the single family homes, if you're looking in the prime area, they're still, you know, the prices have not plummeted down to, uh, you know, 80s levels like they've said in some of these, um, you know, blurbs that I've seen out there on the internet. Uh, so, but they have gone down to a level where, where most people can afford them. Most working class people can afford a single family home now in Miami, Florida. So, with that said, I want to thank you for joining me today and make it a great Memorial Day weekend. Whenever you watch this, that's what was happening this weekend. Uh, I'm sure it'll be out there uh, for a longer time. But uh, if you feel uh, the, the need to call me for additional questions or if you're interested in a foreclosure, or any kind of property here in Dade County, or if you want to list your short sale home, uh, by all means, call me. My number is 305-815-8532. Guillermo Fernandez for all your real estate needs. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.